Welcome back, folks. We are doing very, very well. We have paid off six and a half million of our debt. We can actually pay off a bit more if we want and a bit more. So seven and a half million of our debt has been paid off. But we're going to borrow it all together today, I think, because I want to do the straight line. I want our trades to be profitable. They're not right now. They're losing more than half a million every fiscal order or whatever it is but our boats are making up for it very very nicely 1.7 million and our vehicles are actually making okay profits as well so it's not bad it's not bad we have a lot of tools waiting to go to Colombia. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. So let's try building this train line again, shall we? So rail buildings uh, a cargo I'm actually thinking that this shouldn't be a terminus it should be a through station because this the truck line going to Roseville with fuel is a little bit long in my opinion so we'll stick that in there and then we need one down here and this one I wanted to have four platforms I think just in case we uh... oh, already time to borrow money borrow a few million and we will put you in something like here I think can we turn you a bit maybe something like that instead I think that's better put you in all right and then we want tracks with third uh, with the third rail and then we did something like that I don't want the invisible bridge I want something like this one I like that one I don't want it to come all the way over there though uh, let's cancel that come up a bit more And then we can cross over something like there. We need to come up some so the ships can go under. And we want this one. Uh, let's pull you back. Ships have to be able to go under. Uh, you know what, we're going to pull this back a little bit. And... We're gonna come out... Level. More or less. Like that. And then... Uh, we really want that big thing there. Suppose I do. Just because I don't want the bridge to be mega long. Uh, let's be 
level. Um, let's choose our bridge type. Uh, that one, wasn't it? Or was it that one? It was that one. Okay, and ships can go under. So that works for me. And there. And then in here. And we can start coming over, can't we? Uh, something like that. And then through. Going through is expensive. Kind of need to come out here. So something like that. Like that. 363,000 for that bit. No. Oh. Let's come up a little bit. And then be level. And then come in. Okay, so that's in. We need a crossover here. Too much slope. If we try from the other end. Too much slope. Okay. Try from the other side first. That didn't help. All right. I guess we we'll do it here. Too much slope. Dang it. All right. Well, shouldn't be almost. Anything here, right? That's doable. Nice. And then up at this end. We'll do a crossover as well. Like that. Then we need some signals. And we want auto signals. 500 meters is fine. And we want one way. And that signal all the way up to there. And then we do signal there, go right back again, and then turn auto signals off, put a signal in here and here. Alrighty. And even though we built all that, we still have two and a half million, so we don't even have to increase our loan, I think. Which is pretty crazy. Which is pretty crazy. So now we want a depot. And I think we'll put it in like this. Right before the forest. And connect it up. And there. 
Then we need a new line. From here to here. And this will be uh, El Paso uh, oil to fuel. Uh, oil to fuel. For now, at least. Uh, because it'll be oil to fuel to harbor soon. But right now, that's fine. And... Then we need to buy a train. And we have the Baldwin now. So let's add the Baldwin. Uh, let's see, the Baldwin is... 60 kilometers an hour... 284 and 70. 45. Yeah, so it's the Baldwin. Ooh, we got the Dinar Castle. That might actually be really good. Uh, oh, I don't want two of them on there. Cargo, tank car. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Can, can I really go all the way? I I wanted to see how far I could go before it got poor. Uh, capacity of 189. No, I think that's fine. So we need to, no, we need to borrow some money. Let's just borrow like that. So that we can buy that train, set it on, uh, give it its color. What color was that? That one. That is, is it that one? It's that one. And set you on El Paso oil to fuel. That means that we can, this line, I want to sell every single vehicle. Yep. And I want to bulldoze this. Okay. And... Then that line, which was El Paso oil to fuel to El Paso, is now going to be El Paso fuel to El Paso trucking. And you're going from there to Smith Street. You are that color. Uh, we need to buy some vehicles for you. Buy vehicles. Cargo. You can do fuel. You can do everything, but I just want fuel. We'll get 10 for now. And we'll make you that uh, color, which is this one, I think. El Paso fuel to El Paso. All right. And we have 36 oil sitting here. All right. So hopefully this will mean that we start turning a profit on trains.
Alrighty. 1.3 million that Dirk just brought in there. That is pretty darn good. And we are getting... You... We have quite a bit of oil sitting there waiting. You are out now, but there is more coming in. There we go. Producing again. So how much fuel does El Paso actually need? 120. And Roseville needs... 113, so let's just say 240. That means that you need to produce at 240 just to supply those two. Which means you need to produce at 480. Which you can't right now because you're simply not getting enough uh, crude because we can't get it to you fast enough. However, we could add another line so that we can. So that we have two shipping lines here. And that wouldn't be a bad thing, I think. Um, here, let's switch you to Terminal 2. And there, you're fine. On Terminal 1. Because it goes to 300 and then it dies. And it dies. So. Let's do a new line. But what we could do also is just add to this line and add more ships to this line. I think that's what we're going to do. So if we take. Uh, we don't need that new line. Uh, we need our El Paso. And then we can go Joliet, El Paso. Joliet, El Paso. And then this one needs to be in Terminal 2. This one needs to be in Terminal 2. And then we can... Uh, let's see if... Is it worth replacing with the Dunara? So this is 25 kilometers an hour. 70 capacity in two compartments. This is 25 kilometers an hour, but with a capacity of 100 in two compartments. Alright. There we go. So they're replaced. And then I think we'll get two more ships on here. Uh, manage vehicle. Could actually just do four more ships. Well, let's start with two. But this should mean that you can start producing faster. There's our train. It's turning a profit. A very nice profit. Let's actually take a look at it. 
because we didn't do that, did we? Uh, let's take a ride. Let's take a ride. Uh, we, we can do that when uh, when it's about down there. Well, it is about down there. So and then we can take a ride back. That looks good. That looks really good. And there is a lot of stuff sitting here waiting for us. Wonderful. Let's take a ride. Let's do find the first person. And look at the scenery there. That is gorgeous. Crossing the bridge. And going into the tunnel. Very nice. Tunnels are a little bit boring to drive in, to be honest, but it is what it is. And out we come. Look at those mountains there in the background. Beautiful scenery. And coming into the station. Fantastic. Fantastic. And make 1.6 million. I have to say, I am pretty pleased with this. What's the rate on this now? 519. That's fine for now. That is fine for now. And what is the rate on the El Paso fuel? 72. It needs to be higher than that. Because El Paso wants 122. So El Paso fuel trucking. Let's add another five vehicles. And what's the rate on this one? Uh, 58, so we can clone all of those. Uh, as our fuel to grow, so... You know what, shouldn't we just make a train that takes it down there? I think that would make more sense. I think that would make more sense. But all right, let's see. Yay, we actually turned a profit on our railroad. Isn't that fantastic? But our water really is our big money maker. Our big, big money maker. Where's the train? Oh, it's up here. Just made a delivery. What's the rate on the train? 271. That's actually pretty perfect. That's pretty perfect. You're going to need to go up. Because now, what we can do, and what I want to do, is I want to put a train station down here, and we'll send fuel up to Murrieta. Santa Rosa and Hialeah, I think. And that'll kickstart our earnings from trains quite a bit. Quite a bit. Wow, we have six and a half million in the bank. 
we can almost repay, repay our entire debt. That's pretty crazy. There, debt repaid. Wow, we still have a loan of 500,000, dang it. But we're almost repaid. Oh, let's repay. There, no debt. That's 100,000 extra in profits a month. If we'd add a $10 million loan, that is. But that's pretty good. And you have 189 of 189 on board. And there's more sitting there waiting, so we could actually clone the train. One point six million. We could actually clone the train. This is awesome. I think it makes more sense to have a train going down here and maybe picking up some uh, some food as well because we could bring food back here and bring over to Murieta for instance and Santa Rosa Is there anyone else around here Fargo wants food Waterbury wants food Tacoma wants food So yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff that we can do now that we're actually profitable. We have two million in the bank again already. Look at the profits we're making, four million, three million. It's wonderful. 1.4 million on the railroad there. Woo. And where's the train? It's there, and it's obviously full. Yeah. This could be a lot of fun. And are you upping your production? You are. You are maxed on production now. 1200 of 1200. Aha! And with the ships on here, this is going well. How much is sitting here? This is not half bad. This is not half bad. Could actually put two more ships on here. What's the rate? 534. You know what? Done. They're cloned. So we have eight ships on here now, and that's the max that it can handle. That is the max that it can handle. So this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. We are rolling in money. We are rolling in money. Fantastic. Now we can really start building and I think I really want to get this passenger stuff going a lot better. So I want to connect down to Provo, to Frisco and to Virginia Beach for our long 
line here. And then connect, I think, Topeka, Lubbock, Olathe in, and probably Yonkers up to Lubbock as well, or Yonkers over to Frisco maybe. This is going to be awesome. Man, I'm loving this. I really love this playthrough because it's the map's so huge. There is so much potential to build train lines and shipping lines. That's one of the reasons that I really actually like the seed. Uh, I always try in a in any game I play. I always try the seed nerdy old gamer just to see if if it's a good seed. And it turned out that in uh, in here it's actually really good because we have all these rivers that give and big lakes that give options for using ships. And, and with this huge, huge map, it's just magnificent. It's just magnificent. This needs to be turned into a train line as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. Oh man, I love this. This is great. This is great. It seems like we are carrying everything now. A rate of 682. But I guess that's times two, really. Isn't it? Because we have... I don't know how that works. Maybe. But we're certainly getting a lot of oil over here. So we could actually stick another train on here. Get this producing some more and then have a train going down here to drop off the fuel and maybe a train line up here to pick up some food a lot of opportunities here a lot of opportunities where to start where to start that is something that we'll have to figure out in the next one because we are out of time for today. But I think we have made really good progress from that little whoopsie we had with the uh, with the tray line before because that, that, that didn't work out. Uh, but it certainly did now. 1.4 million, 2.2 million on water. We made a profit of three million last uh, fiscal year or whatever it is, even though we spent 1.5 million. So that's actually a profit of 4.5, 4.6 million almost. Well, more than 4.6 million. So that is very, very nice. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.